Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. This is everything you need to know about a Honda 150R in three minutes. So I bought this bike used. It's a 2018 model, but there haven't been any big changes to this bike in gosh, 12, 15 years, I think when the 08s came out. Uh, this bike is the expert. So you get a little bit larger front and rear wheel uh, by a couple inches. Other than that, it's the same as the regular model. Uh, if you're looking to buy this bike, uh, somebody moving up to a little bit more performance or faster bike, a few things to know, this bike is kickstart only. Uh, there is no battery, which is good and bad, no electric starts, but it does make the, the bike very light and maneuverable. Um, this obviously is a carbureted bike, so making sure that the carb jets are properly set, your air fuel mixture is properly set is, is key, and the uh, owner's manual does provide instructions on how to do that. It's fairly straightforward if you've ever kind of messed with a carburetor before. So as far as sizing, I'm going to have my rider Carson come in here to give you an idea. He is about 13 years old is five foot four so you can see here in tennis shoes he's nearly flat-footed just a little short but in riding boots in the video he posted yesterday he was actually standing on this bike flat-footed so kind of depending on the footwear um, but this is certainly not a bike for the for beginners uh, if you've seen the other videos on the motor tripping channel you've seen the 125 uh, big wheel that's his regular bike but he's kind of moving up to this one uh, as he's getting older so definitely look at the Honda 110 or the Honda 125. Next thing I want to talk about is kind of common maintenance and issues with this bike. Uh, maintenance, it does need valve adjustments uh, every probably once a season. Uh, and then just of course regular oil changes. The chain does like to loosen up quite a bit. Uh, this is an aftermarket one, but the stock one uh, was already stretched pretty th pretty good by the time I had bought it. Um, but the main thing I want to talk about is the camshaft in this bike, the Unicam. All right, uh, so I was talking about maintenance, as specifically about the Unicam on this bike. So that is this engine's Achilles heel. And let me show you what happened to mine. I mentioned the catastrophic failure. This is a the stock cam. And you can see here that these holes should be in alignment. But what happened was the cam heat spun, because this is a two-piece unit. So this piece can spin independently of the lobes. And so it ended up getting off of alignment, which changed the timing. So the cam lobes were off, the timing was off, causing the, the valves to slap the piston. So over time, the valves flattened, uh, the piston was damaged, and then eventually the timing got so bad that one of the valves slammed up into the cam carrier and caused it to crack, which shut the whole you know, motor down. So by the time I got to pull apart, uh, the piston was toast, the valves were shot, the cam and the cam carrier as well. So it ended up costing me uh, about $1,200, $1,300 worth of parts and then uh, you know, paying for labor to get that done. So not cheap fix, but um, I went with a hot cam. And so the hot cam is a single piece uh, unit. So you won't have this issue of heat spin uh, with a single piece unit. And then I replaced it with a Wiseco um, racing piston, which is forged uh, for the piston itself and then um, new valves as well. So anyway, that's it. Everything you need to know in about three minutes.